Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install Terralith onto your Minecraft server. I'm also going to show you how to install it onto a single player world as well. Now, Terralith completely changes how the overworld looks, adding over 85 new biomes, as well as also updating pretty much all vanilla biomes as well. Even things like caves have also been overhauled, so there is a lot to explore. And if these cinematics look interesting to you, then let's get right into it. So first of all, you're going to want to click the link in the description which will take you to the Terralith data pack. There is also a mod version if you do wish to download that instead, and I'll also leave that down in the description. And that can just be installed like any other mod. Before this, we're going to be installing the data pack. So once you're here, you're going to click download data pack. You have to wait a little amount of time and then you can click continue to download. And then now, as you can see, I've downloaded the zip file. So for uploading it to a server, there's kind of two different ways you can do it. There's uploading it to the server directly, but this will mean that your spawn chunks and any chunks you've explored previously won't be overhauled as they're already generated. And Terralith will only generate on new chunks. So we do recommend resetting your world or making a new one before you do install this. But even then, your spawn chunks, which are preloaded, will still not be Terralith. So if you do want your whole world to be Terralith, including the spawn chunks, then the way I'd recommend doing it is setting it up first in single player and then putting the world from single player into your Minecraft server. And I'll show you how to do that at this timestamp. But if you just want to do it way more simply and just upload it right to your server, then let's get into that now. So here we have our server. And now we're going to go to the left to click on the file manager and then you're going to come down to your world. So my world is called something different, but yours might just be called world or whatever you named it. So I found tutorial world. You're then going to go into that and then go into data packs and then simply upload the zip here. But before we do upload it, we're also going to need to stop our server just to make sure no corruption does happen. So simply click stop and then you're going to wait for the circle to appear red just like this. And now it's safe to upload it. So we're simply going to drag it in. And now it's uploading the file, and then there we go. So now we can go ahead and start the server once again. Alright, so now our server's back up if we go ahead and join it. Alright, so I've now loaded into the world, and as you can see, it's pretty normal. And that's because this is just the spawn chunks. However, if we start going out of it... So our spawn was literally just over there, and we've come over here onto this gravel hill. And now if we press F3, you can see the biome is a Terralith gravel beach. So that's how you know it does work. And also in the distance, we can see these different colored trees. Now, this does not involve any resource pack or anything like that. The leaves will simply just change color depending on what biome they are in. But if we click on it, as you can see, these are just normal oak leaves. And this biome is a Terralith shield biome. We have another biome over here, and this is a Terralith white cliffs biome. And you can see already, there is so much variation in these biomes compared to normal. And I think this data pack is perfect for an SMP. Or even if you just wanted to get back into Minecraft, and start playing solo. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how you can install it on a single player world. So we're going to download the data pack and once it has downloaded, if you then go into Minecraft and create a new world, I'm naming this world Terralith World, we'll set it to creative and for the data packs menu, we can then open this and click open pack folder. We're then going to drag the Terralith zip into this folder. So now I've moved it into there. If you go back in Minecraft, you can see the Terralith data pack is now available. So we're going to enable it and click done. So now you can go ahead and create your world. Data packs are experimental, so just make sure you click yes. All right, so we've now loaded into the world. And if we fly up, you can already see a Terralith biome right here. So if we open F3 and fly over the top, you can see this is a Terralith rocky jungle. So that is how you install it on a single player world. And now that we have our world, I'm going to show you how you can upload this to your server. So first of all, go ahead and leave the game. Then in the Windows search bar, if you search percent app data percent and then go to this folder, you can then find .minecraft and then in the saves folder, you should find all your worlds. Now I called my world Terra Left World, so here it is right here. So now if we go to the Pebble Host panel, alright, so now we're going to go to the left to the file manager. Then in here, we're actually going to stop our server. So once it has stopped, you're then going to find your current world, so mine is Tutorial World. We'll then click the checkbox and then go ahead and delete it. So now that that's deleted, if we go back to our file explorer, we can then simply just drag our Terra Left World into the file manager. It will start uploading. This might take a little bit depending on your internet speed. All right, so ours is now uploaded. And as you can see, Terralith World. And now we either need to change the Terralith World folder name 
to the name of our old world or change the whole world name to the name of Terralith World. Now, just to make it more simple, I'm going to change Terralith World to Tutorial World as it means we don't have to leave the file manager. So if you select it and then click rename, we're then going to rename this to Tutorial World, just like that. You can then click rename. Obviously, you won't be calling your Tutorial World, yours will be called something different. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and start our server. And when we load into our server, we should have the same map that we did in single player. So now if we go ahead and join our server, as you can see, I've loaded into the same map that we had in our single player world. So that is how you can install and use the Terralith data pack. If this video was helpful, then definitely leave a like and subscribe, and hopefully, I'll see you next time.